Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Keisha. Yes, it's me. I just cut off my hair. You can find out more about me and my family using the links below to Facebook and Instagram. Right now, it is kind of hectic in the house. We decided, I and Ryan, decided that it'd be a good weekend to get away. We are heading up to Spring Mill yet again. It's the second time we've been there so far, and I do plan on going back sometime like late November-ish, so I really want to go up there in the fall, but AJ really hasn't had that much to do. A lot of the pools and stuff are closed, but at Spring Mill, the pool is open, and Ryan didn't see how good he swam when we were at my mom's, and I don't know, well, when we were visiting my mom at the hotel, and I don't know, I felt like he was missing out, so we're going to spend a lot of time in the pool, some time on the trails, a little time in the caves. Hopefully, I can talk them to going back to Pioneer Village, but if they don't want to, then maybe I'll sneak off and go by myself. So, anyway, I'm packing up right now. I just wanted to come on here and talk to you for a minute and about my hair. So, I didn't have a breakdown or anything like that. I just felt like the ends of my hair were just so split and dry. And it was annoying me to no end. So, one night when I got out of the bath just a couple nights ago, I cut it. And then I just kept going up shorter. So, here we are. You're lucky I don't have a buzz cut right now. But, I'm comfortable with it. It took me a minute to get used to. This side is longer. Um, Laura was working, or I probably would have had her come over. Um, here's the back. You know my, your AJ? He's been so excited when he saw all of his swim stuff. So we are getting cleaned up. We're getting ready to take off. I just wanted to kind of tell you what was going on. And I got lots of stuff to do, but I'll check in with you guys when we're in the car on the way. Okay, so we are um, on the way. We stopped at a gas station. I have been wearing my seatbelt. I just took it off, so I'll put it back on for you guys. Um, I'm probably gonna answer some comments that were left on the video about AJ in this vlog i'm not 100 percent sure yet but um yeah i'll probably answer some so um that will probably be included i know you guys have seen it up here before but um i really just wanted to go so i'm happy to be getting away for the weekend i um i feel like we just need it in a way i know that sounds crazy but i'm excited so off we go. So we're not the only ones trying to get into Spring Mill. There's a long line of cars um, waiting to get into the park. So, here we are. It's really cute. It's decorated for fall and Halloween. We're going to get in our room and probably see if we can wander out. So this room was nicer than the one we had previously. Again, we got a crib. No, no, no. We got a crib um, for AJ. And this was the perfect spot because it can be pushed in just a little bit. This light can go off. And it will stay pretty dark right there. Um, let me turn the light back on. Um, TV over here in the corner. Two double beds which is nice um the desk over here where i have my laptop and um chargers and stuff like that we did bring the play-doh kit because we usually allow him to play with it when we're out and about um first aid kit and then some lights for the caves um aj's little rocks um and then over here is the kitchen area with the microwave and the refrigerator. So this is kind of new, you know, if you guys hadn't seen a room like this. And then it's like a handicap accessible bathroom, but it's wonderful because it's so big. I absolutely love it. And 
There's the bathtub. I put all of her stuff in. So, um, yeah. So, I love the view. It's got the rocking chairs. It's right there. And we're super close to the pool as well. So, yeah, it's nice. I'm happy to be here. So the buffet is still closed. But we are here. And we are hungry. Hey, everybody. So, we just finished with dinner. They're set up for a wedding. We saw, like, the reception area all set up as well. So, AJ was quite the handful at dinner. He just really was. And I think somebody felt sorry for the work that we had to put into just having dinner tonight. And they paid for our dinner. So, it was entirely kind and good karma. And we will pass it along. And um, it was really nice. He just has been like cooped up in the car. It's over an hour to get here. And um, just wanted to get some energy out. So we forgot the little swimmers. I know my hair looks so strange, you guys. I like it, but I'm still just like getting used to it. Um, we forgot the little swimmers. So we're going to um, take off and go to the store and get some little swimmers. And um, then we are going to take AJ swimming. out of the pool, taking a bubble bath, getting ready to have a donut before bed. Hey everybody, so Ryan and AJ are asleep. I thought I would come outside for a few minutes. I have my mask. Um, in the hotel they want you to wear it, but as long as you're like social distancing, they really don't care. And as you can see, it's quiet and peaceful. It's almost midnight. So I won't be out here really long. I wanted to use my phone. I have no reception whatsoever in the room. So I just wanted to talk for a minute. I'm not gonna go through all the comments right now because I didn't bring my laptop out here with me. But um, I wanted to say that Brittany and Jackson can always come with me on any like weekend getaway. The thing is that they're older. So Jackson is working and he's working this weekend and Brittany went to Bloomington to be with Kenzie. So you know I would love for all the kids and I to take a wonderful trip together but it's hard to like coordinate the schedules. So anyway I know my hair is super short I know it's probably a shock for some people. It looks so much better when it's damp um, because it puffs out some. But I really like the way it feels. It feels so much better on my neck. I love it. I really do. So I'm going to grow it out to chin level and that's it. I don't know if I will do long hair again or not. Anyway, the reason I chose to come here. I know this is putting me off in such red lighting. Um... The reason I decided to come back here is because the pool is here and AJ loves the pool. There's so much going on that's negative right now and heartbreaking and just so hard to watch and hear that even though there's important work to be done, it's nice being away. Sorry, what I was saying is, is that you know, I love it here. It's one of my favorite spots. It's relatively inexpensive. Um, Ryan's phone's got service. I can call my friend. But it's relatively inexpensive. It's not very expensive here. It's beautiful. And there's so much to do. Tomorrow we're going through a drive through safari. So that's kind of different. And um, just time to get away. 
I will say that I know a lot of people are like, um, well, not a lot, but a few people have actually said stuff about the times when Ryan and I have been, you know, having trouble and that I voiced it and how am I overlooking it? I'm not. It's not currently that way. We are getting along. He is drinking less and, um, we're just trying to be good co-parents and raise a happy, healthy little boy. I also got a comment that I deleted right away that somebody said that um, AJ was taken away and we just got him back. Oh my God, AJ was never taken anywhere. But, you know, some people want to think the worst and just think you're a terrible person when in reality, you're not. Um, but I try to let that stuff roll off my back. AJ hasn't been anywhere except with me and that's the way it's gonna stay oh yeah another one was um, another comment that I remember now I remember so many of them that I'm addressing some of the more negative ones right now um, is that I love drama oh my god Tisha you love the drama who in the world would love CPS showing up like even if you have nothing to hide it still makes you nervous I, I can't believe somebody actually had the nerve. I can't remember who their, their name is. But I think it's ridiculous that anybody would think that I love it. And I, you know, I don't have Munchausen syndrome. I'm, you know, not somebody who's trying to get attention through my baby. I share him on here with you guys. But it's, it's not drama that I wanted. It's not drama that I asked for. Yes, Ryan and I have had problems. Yes, I've spoke about some of those problems. Yes, they were horrible when they happened. Um, and if it was an ongoing kind of thing, it would be a horrible way to live. I don't tolerate it. I don't let him um, be around when he has too much to drink. I try to encourage him not to drink and to drink less and work harder at being a better person. I think he takes me serious on that. Um, it's not always easy with Ryan, you guys. Even tonight was like a little bit difficult, stressful at times, but not mean. We weren't fighting. He was just getting on my nerves. Like, how many other women on the planet can't say that about somebody in their life, their significant other, really? But it happens. It's life. Um... But I did not ask for the drama. I did not ask for it. Maybe I did it since I shared some personal shit that I probably shouldn't have shared. Maybe in that regard, I asked for it. But not, not, not really. And somebody also said something about my phone number that CPS don't call first. Well, when you put my address into the GPS, it takes you to the college to the college. She had no idea where I lived, so I had to give her directions, just so you know. Um, and um, I, I thought it had to be somebody I know. It had to be. How did they know where I lived? Blah, you know, I had all these thoughts racing. So when she was there, I asked her how she knew where I lived and what my phone number was. She just pulled Jackson's school records. That's what she told me. She got my address and my phone number from the records at New Albany High School. So, you know, I know that there are, again, misconceptions about how things are done because I agree, normally they don't call you, they just show up. She couldn't just show up. She can show up anytime she wants. Obviously, I'll let her in any day of the week, but at the same time, things work out weird sometimes. She couldn't get to my house. She was sitting in front of IUS dorms she had no idea where I was at. So yes, she called me and she got that information from the high school. So I just wanted to kind of clear that up and make sure that you guys were aware um, of how things really happen. It's, it's, it's not easy um, and it's a situation that definitely made me a little bit uncomfortable, but I didn't lie to her. She asked me certain things about Ryan. I told the truth. My kids told the truth. Ryan drinking beer and being an asshole at times is not enough to get AJ taken away. I 
believe with all of my heart it's just some idiot that cooked this shit up and I frankly don't care who they are. Um, it would be nice to know, but I doubt I'll ever really know. And um, yeah, we'll see, life goes on. I'm so sorry about the red light. It's the um, lights out here, those little lights, and the red hoodie. I'm in a red hoodie, black pants, because it's chilly. And I plan on coming back here, I hope, sometime at the end of November, I'm hoping. We'll see. Um, I know it will be a chilly trip. We'll probably stay mostly in the inn. They have all those video games, and there's so much stuff to do here. Um, but I want to come and enjoy the fall leaves, so... I don't know. Um, it's just not there yet. We're coming up on that. It's definitely getting cold. And by the way, I watched the Breonna Taylor press conference today. Their family reacting to um, the Attorney General's um, to the Attorney General's um, conference about, you know, sending it to the grand jury and what the grand jury came back with and it was so powerful today the people that spoke it, it hit me at my core and um, I cried all the way through it so um, my heart is there just so you guys know and um, such tragedy and sadness um, change is really needed Please register to vote. Please register to vote. I know there are Trump supporters that watch this channel. I think I've made it very clear who I will not vote for. But I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I'm just going to say please register to vote. It matters. It needs to be strong and by a landslide in my opinion. Part of me feels like Trump will get back in because there's so many racist people and I just don't even want to get into it all because I know I'll push buttons with you guys. I'm not trying to do that. But I hope it's by a landslide and it probably, I don't know what's going to happen. I, I have no idea. Um, but change is needed and change is needed on so many levels, not just on presidential level it's our local and our community um, elected officials that we've really got to look at and examine and see if they need replaced and if they do we have to vote so please 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 vote I vote every year um, I wish Ryan could vote he can't um, Brittany will be voting this year for the first time means a lot to her and um just my heart goes out to all the families that have lost loved ones in terrible tragic ways we just have to be strong so anyway i've been chatty out here um, i have to be so quiet in the room i'm going to head back up to the room and get to bed so we can wake up have breakfast and go to the safari and then um, we'll probably swim, maybe hike a little bit, and, um, have dinner and enjoy our evening tomorrow. So, we'll see where we go, and I'll take you guys with me. Bye. So, I guess we missed the wedding. I just stood here, by the way, and messed with the settings on my camera, so I probably, it was probably my fault. Um... But it's so beautiful out here. Extra towels for the morning. I'll take the elevator. Good morning. It is a chilly fall morning. It's supposed to be pretty today. Right now it is a little after 10. So AJ and Ryan was up around 7 and I got up a little bit later not much later but just a little bit we had breakfast got cleaned up 
and we're heading to a drive through safari, which we didn't know was up here. So we're excited. So we are here and AJ has been asleep for about 35 minutes. We had to drive around and he's awake. They have a light show as well. We're check into that. We might come back tonight. Who knows? Depends how much we like it. Um, but it's pretty out here. It's really, really pretty. The drive here was really nice. So you can see they're set up for the light show. There's horses over here. Where did we pay at? Guys, we'll figure it out. Zoom in. Mm -hmm. I don't even think this is it. I mean, this isn't part of the safari. No. So I guess we have to go in base camp. No, it's feet time. <laughs> so there's all kinds of worlds here. We can't have our windows down at this part. <laughs> Take my car on me. That big bird! That big bird! Look at that. What he doing? No, no, he's a hat. Is that a big bird? That's <laughs> a driver what? He is right here. We're on private property going four miles an hour. So we wanted him to be able to feed the animals too. And he's sitting on mommy's lap. Oh, honey. Come on. Come on. Oh, boy. Okay, he's getting all over the
Going down, going down, going down. So we were told when we got to the bison, to roll up the windows. That's what we're doing. All right, so we are moving on with our day. This one back here woke up what? finally, and Ryan forgot his phone, so he went back into the room. But we're gonna go play and get some sunshine. There he is, right down there. Coming. I've got, hey, Rock, I got it. AJ loves rocks and he loves trains. So I think his birthday is going to be a collection of trains and rocks. Here you go. What do you say? You're welcome. I'm gonna kill Daddy for making us walk up them steps. Oh. Come on. I always feel so much better when I am out in nature. Stay back from the edge. No, be careful. Sure, that water's cold. I always feel so much better. We were just talking about in the car about um, possibly coming up for like Halloween, Christmas, um, Thanksgiving, maybe. And you know, just thinking about it, planning it. Ryan likes caves, and that one is really wet. Okay, and bye -bye. Yep, that's right. Say bye-bye, Dad. Bye-bye, Dad. He, was, he just wanted to go play for like five minutes. He tried to get me and AJ to go back there, but I'm not doing it. I just don't, don't want to do that. 
Where'd Daddy go? Did he go in the cave? Uh, we're not going over there. Come here. Come here. I know Daddy went over there. Brian made it out of the cave. It is so pretty. It is just so pretty. I just saw a leaf fall in the creek here. Mm, I love it. We gotta hike our asses up all those steps. And guess who gets to carry AJ? It's not gonna be me. We are off to the play area. So nice out. So we made it to the play area. I think we're gonna take the trail in just a minute and go um, to the village. Oh, goodness. He just flopped down. You know, last time I was in this park, you guys, Get your rock. Yep. I lost twenty dollars, so I didn't bring any cash with me this time. Remember when I lost twenty dollars? We were so thirsty, we stopped for a drink, and I didn't have any money. It's only twenty bucks we brought with us. Yep. Oh, you swinging your rocks? This kid and his rocks. I'm telling you. Daddy's over there. He's swinging his rocks. AJ spotted another way. He's like, uh-uh. This trail was easy. We took it last time. And it's a good way to wear AJ out. Keep him calm for dinner. He loves he rocks. rocks. He loves rocks. Um, and then bye after bye we bye. eat, bye we'll go bye bye rocks. Uh, He's um, we're going to go swimming after we get done eating. After we get changed. There you go. Oh boy. So you guys, this was actually called child abuse. Us making AJ go for a walk. Because he doesn't walk well, apparently. So, so, just be, let's go. I'm trying to keep R-O-C-K-S in my pocket as they fall. He'll find a million other ones. But we got special ones that we got from Spring Mill. Oh. Oh. AJ gets the easiest ride out of everybody. This is what we always do when he starts getting tired. Ryan's super strong. And his back can take it. Where mine, I'm not so sure. So we're back in the village. There's other people here. Walking, everything's closed. But, come on, AJ. But, it's such a lovely place. Uh -oh. Dropping his rocks. Let's go. <laughs> this is where we realized we lost the $20. We. She keeps saying we. I lost the $20. She's <laughs> yes. Um, this is where. Uh -huh. And we had to make it to the car. Thirsty. Hot. Thirsty and hot. It was very, very hot last time we were here. He lost his rocks. Oh, where's dad? Let's go. Let's go. AJ. <laughs> Come on over here. Next step. Let's go. Oh, you're so cute.
so it is Sunday. It is noon. Obviously, we are home. I needed some coffee. I just needed it. The coffee in the hotel room just sucked. And I didn't take my own. I just used theirs. And I never got any. Um, AJ ate cereal in the room this morning. And then we packed up and we headed back. He is tired, but I think he's happy to be home. He went right to his bed, wanted to show his blanket, his trains, as you can see. He's happy. So AJ and I went to the store. We specifically went for stuff for chili and paper plates. And we got a little more than what, what we went for, but all stuff we needed. So I just got a package of paper towels. We do use them. I wish we were a family that didn't, but we do. Um, I got some toilet paper. I went based off price. Um, we also got some more pull-ups for AJ. Some Spider-Man bubble bath. Some rain bath for me. This one is in the Ocean Mist scent. And um, I really wouldn't need it if AJ wouldn't have gotten a hold of mine and dumped most of it out. He smelled amazing that night, though. And then AJ's soap we're almost out of. And this is the Dove Baby Tip to Toe Wash. Um, I did need a new maps or mop, excuse me. So I went ahead and got the Libbyman again. I've had this before. I've shared it on this channel before. And um, yeah, so I got that and some mop and glow. I also got paper plates, which we, we use a lot. And I got a big package of like ground round for chili, um, which is gonna be delicious. And with that chili, AJ's not a huge fan of chili, so I got him some potato gnocchi, gnocchi, excuse me, and we'll serve that with him. I also got 10 different cans of cat food for the cats, and this candle in Campfire Moments smelled really good. I got crushed and diced tomatoes for the chili. I got some berry cherry fruit cocktail and mandarin oranges. No, no. He gets so excited over the donuts. Nope, not yet. <laughs> um, I had to give him a granola bar to hold him over. So mandarin oranges and fruit cocktail, a lot of times I'll mix those together. Some mixed chili beans, I only use one can in my chili. I also got some Parmesan cheese and some Welch's natural grape jelly. Um, the chewy granola bars that AJ loves and some French toast sticks that he also loves and then Back here. We have some dry milk and some bread flour for making bread. I really wanted some sherbet So I just got the Kroger deluxe sherbet an onion for the chili elbow macaroni for the chili some original chili spice mix. I don't know. I just got it some chalk for AJ's little easel that I shared in a different haul. Um, some Chex Mix, which AJ loves. Some more sourdough bread. I really want to get to the point where I'm not buying bread anymore. Some dodos, as AJ likes to call them. Some donuts, which he's obsessed with. Bananas. And in our family, not everyone likes baked potatoes. But they like potato skin, so I'm serving those with chili. And um, sugar. And some Mountain Dew. So that's what I ended up getting. And yeah, now I get to put it all away. Hey everybody, so I'm gonna be ending the vlog in this clip. I just wanted to like jump in front of the camera, talk for a few minutes. I know this video is rather long. So if you've stuck with me through this whole video, thank you. I actually cut it down quite a bit. I didn't show pool footage for the second night. I didn't show our meals or our wonderful pizza we had on night two. It was just a wonderful trip. I really enjoyed it. I love Spring Mill so much. Just like I said earlier, we're checking into their holiday schedule and possibly, not, not for sure, just looking into it, having either Thanksgiving or our Christmas up there. I just think it could be like really magical. So I'm trying to figure out how much all that would be with Spring Mill and then check with everybody about schedules and trying to figure out how to get everybody there at the same time but um i got the groceries put up it is a cold rainy overcast day and i'm gonna make chili and i think Brittany's coming over i'm not 100 percent sure but i think she is making potato skins to go with it and maybe a little salad um 
What else? Oh, I wanted to thank you for all of your comments, for those of you who took the time to leave me your thoughts on the video before this one. I haven't answered them all. I need to make time to sit down and do that, but I've read every single one of them. And even though some of the nasty comments got addressed, your comments mean more to me than any of those nasty comments. I just wanted to make sure any misconceptions that were out there were addressed. And I will continue to do that um, as we progress. I haven't really been upset. I think people expect me to be upset, and I'm just not. I feel like we have happy, healthy, beautiful children. All are on their own paths and and maturing at their own speed and happy and and doing good. Brittany's doing good in college. Jackson's doing good in high school. AJ's doing good bouncing around the house. It's 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 nothing that I'm really upset about. I think if I was upset about anything, it was that somebody wrote a bogus letter hoping that something would happen, but nothing's going to happen and um at any point in time, anybody can come to my house and get to know me and my children, especially from CPS. But I, I just feel really good, and I feel like I'm in a good place. And I don't know, it doesn't really bother me. But um, moving on, I'm going to try to let that go. I was still a little salty, as you could tell in the video. Like when we were walking, and I was explaining, somebody actually said that was child abuse to make AJ walk. Um, not for long periods of time, but, you know, on a trail that is 15 minutes by foot for me and Ryan, and probably like 20 to 25 minutes for AJ, because he takes, you know, smaller steps. But he doesn't even ever, like, truly finish a trail. He ends up on his daddy's shoulders. So I am still a little salty, but I'm going to do my best to turn off that commentary and just focus on the good. I hope I didn't shock you with my haircut today. Um, like I said, I just like it and it feels better. I'll grow it out to about right here and then I'm probably done. But um, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, taking time to leave comments on this video and any others. And I love you guys. I will see you very soon with another video. Bye-bye.